Hey guys, uh, these late night videos are becoming a theme it seems. Uh, tonight I've decided to post up under this beautiful uh, tree. Fall is coming obviously and uh, the leaves are changing color so it looks really pretty out right now uh, at this time. But let's talk about karma. That's today's or tonight's theme. Now on this channel you'll find that another video done um, on this subject except the in that video video I express much different views than I'm going to um, relay in this video um, now I've grown from that uh, perspective I've learned many new things and it's definitely normal that uh, we we change and uh, we look to progress in our ideas and our thoughts that's why, like I say, I don't hold beliefs, belief systems anymore because that's that will only serve to bring cognitive dissonance when it's time to break that belief, uh, right? They can keep you locked in. Many people think, oh, I found a sort of system of thought and this is it, right? This is this is how it, how it is. It's got to be this way. You have to always keep an open mind because you don't really know for sure. Uh, what's going on and if new things new ideas new evidence is presented to you you have to be willing to redirect and um, hold that as another puzzle piece to the grand puzzle that you're trying to uh, create right so um, that's what I do I hold puzzle pieces I hold these ideas as uh, seemingly separate yet potentially all very connected until you find the other puzzle pieces to connect the ideas to the other I previous ideas right they all coincide right that's how you you really make a puzzle at least that's, that's how I do it uh, maybe there are there is some genius that finds every single piece <laughs> by piece uh, in a row but no usually you find one section then maybe you don't find anything so you try and find another section until it all comes together right so that being said in that video I expressed that karma is a real thing or it's beneficial for our learning experience or um, you know we were sent here to alleviate the karma and to progress on an evolutionary scale so that we could evolve right so we could uh, understand and know ourselves better well that doesn't really fit anymore uh, according to a lot of evidence a lot of study uh, into near-death experiences they all kind of have a very common theme. And that common theme is the memory wipe. Um, it's the, also this feeling rushed, feeling immediately sent back without much explanation, without much actual uh, decision, uh, consent, okay? So let's first talk about, I guess, what karma is not. So we know karma like, as in the notion of instant karma, like, oh, haha, you just, you know, punch someone so you got punched back or you told a lie so someone lied to you well that's more so the law of cause and effect okay the universe reacts accordingly to your actions right you create an action um, there is an equal and opposite reaction in a sense right that's Newtonian physics but that also functions in terms of universal laws in terms of how you receive and I don't believe that is necessarily karma okay that's not actually what karma kind of really is because they try to expand that thought system into other lives into other incarnations and they're saying oh okay well you did this to this person now you have to go back and fix it that's really what karma is it's this agreement cons con contractual consent between you and other souls and this council potentially of beings i forgot to mention that on the actual video where i talked about these things uh, but from a different perspective that i let go of um someone actually commented uh, the things that i'm about to say uh, that they had a remembering of you know not actually mm, agreeing to such things or being kind of forced into it now you'll find the video it's something to do with karma it's on my channel you go and look for the comment and if that person is watching this then just 
just know that you were potentially very right. Uh, so thank you for trying to open my eyes, trying to open my eyes earlier. Now, this idea of karma being relayed through separate lives is, in my opinion, complete BS. Um, or law, rather, the law of cause and effect being relayed through separate lives, because it shouldn't take that long. It shouldn't take a whole another incarnation for you to feel the after effects, especially when we lose our memory. How am I supposed to learn that something was wrong, that something was a mistake, when I can't remember my actual mistake in the first place? It's kind of like, oh, you're just supposed to assume that uh, everything bad that happens to you was because you did something bad um, in a past life. And in my opinion, complete BS, right? Karma is what keeps this reincarnation loop going. It's kind of the energy behind it. Because in order to have a recycling of souls, you need the same souls to come back over and over and over. So how do they do this? They being this council, these watchers, these beings that are facilitating this recycling, this reincarnation, for the purpose of energy extraction. So let's say you die. You're immediately confronted with relatives, with some sort of beings from your belief systems that make you feel safe, comfortable, um, like you can trust them, right? And they say, come, come, come with us to the light, to the light, we must go to the light. Now, I don't know for sure whether there exists a false light and an actual light. Uh, I'm willing to bet uh, there are both. Uh, I'm willing to bet that neither are potentially the way out of this matrix. And rather, you must create your own source, your own portal to source out of this dimension. Because the astral realm is heavily controlled by them. Heavily intercepted, heavily manipulated, even to the point of a lower fifth dimensional existence posing as a sort of nirvana a sort of eternal pleasure an infinite pleasure rather which is basically hedonism um but we don't know for sure um but like i said based on my evidence based on what i've or my research and based on the evidence that uh, i've discovered this is my idea this is my puzzle piece <laughs> so you go you go into the light right but drawn in by these potential relatives who are more than likely posing as these beings right they use this sort of holographic interface a false light to deceive you right otherwise why would you go into something you don't know about right so now you're in all of a sudden you feel like you've already lost like 50 percent of your memory you go through this life review with the council your guides whatever and they say hey in this life, you did this, and this, and this, and this wrong. They usually start with what you did wrong. If you if you listen to these NDEs, a lot of them will focus, will put great emphasis on this because that's, again, energy extraction. Fear, pain, you know, things like that. And they'll, all of a sudden, this shame, this guilt, especially if you want to these souls preconceived or predisposed to goodness, right? They're not necessarily prone to the fourth density negative like the law of one describes, which is pot potentially also very heavily manipulated and intercepted. Okay. Um, so you feel this guilt and you say, wow, I, that, I really messed up. I really need to find that soul and reconnect with them and have it switched around, right? But when you're under the extreme circumstances that are here you have no recollection of past lives you have this parasitic entity known as the ego influencing your every action because your higher self has, is unable unable to download itself into your avatar due to the very controlled frequencies and low vibration of this realm which in my opinion is basically a low level of hell or a higher level of hell or something or purgatory or some some sort of <laughs> realm and you say okay i'm going to go back 
I'm going to make things right. But how could you know what's right, what you did wrong, and what you come here to fix when your memory gets completely wiped? Now, that's why they really wipe your memory so that you don't remember how many times, how many you, you made this exact same mistake that you're gonna come back and fix a mistake that you made in a previous life or multiple mistakes. And then what happens, you come in, you deal with that karma. Maybe you don't even learn the lesson and that karma just continues throughout your whole life, never really understanding that you were supposed to get out of that or you're supposed to avoid it completely. And on top of that, you accumulate then other karma, other, let's say, negative experiences with beings because you're so poorly influenced. You're so, you haven't reawakened, in a sense, to your true being. So we've done this so many times. For what purpose? We were already that being and we came here to really in the beginning i believe it was a sort of game for the purpose of experience that then got hijacked right we were supposed to come in here with our full avatar um uh, idea our full knowledge avatar knowledge way of being our higher self christos if that's even the word for it if that wasn't manipulated as well but you know what i mean where you naturally are prone to love and wisdom and compassion towards others and then all of a sudden they got hijacked and uh, it started being used uh, for that friction that energy that is created through this illusion of separation from source so that's how these souls keep coming back every single lifetime more and more and more or rather the same even set of souls because how do we even know that 8 billion people on earth, or whatever the number is, are actual souls? If an awakened soul's consciousness can affect that many people, because it, uh, if you checked out, um, I believe Hawkins, Dr. Hawkins' work with the scales of consciousness, I believe that's his name, Hawkins, I forgot. Each level is exponentially um, stronger and higher than the previous level. So going from, let's say, courage, I believe, to from neutrality to courage is like 10 to the power of two or three something uh, frequencies or uh, whatever standard they use to differentiate between them higher than the previous one, right? So. That's why someone that operates at love can influence so many more people. I believe it's like millions of people uh, through their vibration. Um, and so that means really when you're at these lower vibrations, you're acting really as someone that isn't conscious, isn't a, really an NPC, a non-player character, because they don't have control over their own uh, life, their own body, will, Right? They have no free will. They're ruled by their desires, by their, by their ego. So back to karma. Um, people think that they need to be uh, stuck in these situations. They need to fully experience them and fully learn the lesson. Um, but I believe that to be a trap. I believe that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to be stuck in that karmic loop for as long as possible never getting out, never uh, letting go of these energies, um, and then accumulating other karma so that you can then come back again and again to repeat the same experience. So that being said, if you can spot something coming from a mile away, you don't need to let it hit you to learn the lesson that you didn't want to get hit by that experience, right? You didn't want to have that experience. Right, so it's important to understand that, hey, this is potentially part of my script, part of my life script, and I forgive that person. I send them love, uh, and I forgive myself for going through that experience in a potential past life. I forgive myself 
for consenting to such an experience and I let go of any of these contracts that I may have accumulated and been deceived into potentially uh, outside of this realm right in my other astral form let's say uh, so that's why it helps very much to decode your own life decode your numbers decode your astrology because from personal experience I had this this karmic um, experience this karmic happening uh, and I'm like wow this is meant to be this is actually faded this this person is for me if they if they're, it's reflected in my astrology they must have to be with me I'm supposed to be with them they're you know part of my life I I signed up for this well the experience just kept getting, kept getting worse and worse and worse and I came to the conclusion that this is not acceptable I, I can't live like this this isn't going to work out I need to get out of this right um so if I would have seen that earlier on which I did really but I convinced myself that it was such a faded outcome and it was meant for me it was right for me that I deluded myself into letting it happen it only lasted a short while before I realized I was completely wrong and I was being heavily manipulated and those p the people in the situation also being heavily manipulated to create this outcome right and to progress the life script progress the plan that you're being created with these other entities in a sort of also diluted state to come here and experience this friction this energy extraction because what would have happened if i stayed is it would have been non-stop uh repeated experiences not no real growth um no real uh benefit love uh and it would have been a loop right it would have facilitated the plan so if you would like a reading if you would like uh me to decode your life script check out my my uh my twitter leave a comment here my twitter is at awareness uh 777 uh in awareness there are two threes instead of the e's and you'll find links to my uh to my uh, business where I will gladly facilitate readings for you guys um, so that you can sidestep these karmic events in your life um, to really understand what's going on with your own life script and now you don't need an actual reading for me to realize this you just need to be hyper aware of things that are beneficial towards you that are adding to love to your situation and things that are basically taking from you and creating havoc uh, and a crisis in your life okay so that's my idea on karma and the real trap behind it i uh, hope this made sense hope you guys enjoyed like comment uh subscribe and enjoy the rest of your night